if you don't know what your CO2 levels are, that's a, a book default. Yeah, right. So Greg said, let's monitor, let's put a sniffer on there, let's monitor what your CO2 levels are because you can go up to like 900, I'm just you know using a number. Yeah. And we were on like three or 400 when we closed the dampers. Since that time, those dampers have been closed some of the winter. Dampers. And this is being controlled by the building pressure. So as the building pressure builds up, these fans stage on to, to uh, depressurize the building so the doors don't blow. <laughs> air. What that means is when the air comes up out of the building, after it's gathered all of its air, it's like 73 degrees return air, for example, on its way to the coils that either heat the air in the wintertime or cool the air in the summertime, that's, then that's conditioned air. Yeah. It's mixed air when it brings outside air into the building. What was interesting is when Greg closed those intake dampers, we were still picking up this radical three, four, five, eight degrees in the summer of mixed air increased temperature that we had to now cool from that point to that point we were picking up eight degrees. So we did a study on these things. We put plastic on here and as soon as we did and we blocked the air off, we found out that these dampers were leaking and we were picking up air temperatures in the building. So now, Greg, like Greg said, he just changed all this stuff. The, the ones on the outside are just for rain purposes, but all the new ones on the inside are all water off, fully gasketed, opposed blade, closed down to zero. Um, very efficient um, dampers that now are another layer of efficiency. So every time he touches this building, it's another layer of efficiency and another layer of efficiency. So it's incredible. The stair wall is closed now. So it shoots it out, which is warmer air, say 73 degree air, 74 degree air, throw it out of the building. Pick up cooler air, 66 degree air, into the building, yeah. and then send it into the airstream the whole system, and yeah. either heat it or cool it as we need to. Well, if it's 66 degree air, we might not even need to turn the compressors on at all on a day like today. And then of course, in the cooling duct, we have the, the UV um, lighting system, which is in there. Uh, you can yeah. see the UV lights here at the port hall, but this is the, uh, this kills anything biological that's in the airstream. It happens that quickly, huh? Oh yeah, the UVC, oh yeah, UVC, right, that's why that portal is special. It's so easy to look in there, otherwise it doesn't shut off. Really? So it's just like, the air is going past it and it's just killing right now? Yeah, yeah. instantaneous.